It was the largest protest since South Korea became a democracy nearly 30 years ago. For the third weekend in a row, South Koreans occupied the streets of central Seoul. The mass protest was organized by trade union activists, but attended by a diverse group, workers, students and families who started turning up in the early afternoon. The rally was peaceful, carnival-like even, but with the sense of anger and betrayal protesters have for President Park and hae I want my family members to be part of what could be an historic moment. We're here because we want Park on hae to hear the voice of the people. I believe the country's leadership is on the wrong path. We gave power to them. We're taking it back now. Park is accused of allowing a close friend inappropriate access to government documents and the potential to influence decision-making at the highest levels. The confidant, Chae Soon Sil, is also alleged to have used her connections to enrich herself. She's being investigated by prosecutors. The protest culminated in a candlelight vigil and a coordinated and prolonged chant demanding the president's resignation. The protesters have, in a sense, won a symbolic victory. Just before the demonstration began, judges allowed protesters to march on this road. The presidential palace is just a kilometre away. It's the closest a demonstration of this size has ever been allowed to get to the president's office. This is the first rally all opposition parties have joined since news of the scandal broke last month. Opposition politicians have stopped short of demanding the president resign. But they are demanding she allow an investigation led by a specially appointed prosecutor. They also want her to hand over power to a prime minister chosen by parliament. Park has tried to appease the people by reshuffling government leaders. She's also agreed to relinquish some powers to a prime minister of her choice. A compromise that appears to have pleased no one and has only served to intensify calls for her to step down.